morning you guys once again back here <laughs> i feel like time has just been going by so fast recently i don't even know where the weekend went i don't know it's gonna be the weekend again in two days like it's actually crazy and not actually two days but like it's gonna feel like two days happy beginning of the week time has just been flying by and it's been i don't even know it's just weird how fast it's going time is not actually real like it's not real it's not linear it's not real like it's just a made-up thing i think it's trippy it's been trippy lately i have realized that we are all prisoners to our phones and i feel like maybe why time has been going by so fast is because like we watch tv so much we pick up our phones every millisecond i swear like it's just such a habit to pick up your phone go on tiktok go on instagram whatever it is and it's become so ingrained in us and our brains have been so used to like the instant dopamine that it's so bad for you and it really prohibits you from a lot of things like being creative getting to know yourself having just peace in your life because when was the last time you just kind of sat in silence and that was it just was with yourself you know yeah anyways joel and i have been starting to implement that where i'm not going on social media as much i already started cutting it out yesterday and i'm going to continue to do that this week because just after doing it yesterday my brain has been feeling so much more mentally clear the day felt longer and even though my instinct was to pick up my phone and was to like go watch tv or something i did it i would just put it back down and it's made me feel so much more clear already which is insane so i'm excited to see doing this like experiment how it's gonna make me feel and what am i gonna do in those times where like i have nothing to do when i'm bored what's gonna come of that anyway so that's what's up new thing of the week right now just made myself some bone broth gonna drink this all the way there in the car and that is the plan for this morning it's currently like 5 30 right now so we're gonna be heading out of the house soon and yeah i will see you guys later I'm gonna be doing leg dates today so cheers to the beginning of the week all right guys <laughs> Hey, good morning to be new. So this is my little gym outfit for today. Um, my set is just from Aritzia. I love the gray. I just love gray and I feel like it's so cute. Got my new balances on. Jacket's from Princess Polly. Kitten is from a cat. Say hello. Oh my God, you guys. Look at how much bigger she is already. Like they're getting so big. Two bees in the litter box right now. So I don't want to disturb her. But look at how big. Like, you're kidding me. You're getting so big, Mrs. Stop growing. Like, could they just stay like this? Like, this is the perfect little size. But, oh my gosh, I can barely hold it with one hand anymore. No. I actually organized my gym bag a bit because it was such a mess before. And I think I showed you guys I got this um, little cheetah thing. And, yeah, I just have, like, all my miscellaneous in the gym bag. So, it's not all scattered around. And, yeah, this has been so nice having more organized gym bag so that's slay but anyways okay let's get going to the gym Till I fuck my 28th up 1990, you my family had to act with Oh, the legend Got at least six discs and a changer Back when Boswell and Percy had it acting Couple bishops in the city building mansion Oh, the reverend Reach yourself, me, me, and that's that it Don't be good, only eat a Shoney's on occasion After Trina hit, I had to transfer campus Your apartment, I didn't use this while I waited Hey guys, so I just got home from the gym and I got myself ready for the day, had my morning coffee. The weather is kind of like gloomy outside today. It's not a sunny day and the weather predicts it's going to be like this for the next few weeks, which sucks because I was hoping for a sunny week and weekend, but that's okay. Summer's coming soon, so the sun will be shining. Guys, recently, I don't know what it is, but I have been like not even kidding you obsessed with smelling good when i smell good it boosts my mood it makes me so happy and i have been keeping 
a perfume everywhere. Upstairs, in my vanity room, in my bedroom, in my gym bag, in my purses, because I'm constantly spraying myself because I'm obsessed. So I recently got these perfumes from Scentbird. Look at how cute the packaging is with all the different colors and the gold, I'm obsessed. This little pouch goes in my gym bag. Look at how convenient this is. Just to pop in there and you're good to go. So this one is Uso Vert from Purple Noon. It has notes of ginger, Tunisian neroli oil, musk. So this is what the full size bottle of this one looks like. Mm, I can see myself wearing this for like a summer night dinner. That smells so good. The next one that I got is Commodity Gold. And this one has notes of vanilla, amber, sandalwood. Let's give her a spritz. Mm. This one would be perfect for like a girl's night out. Like you're going out with your friends. You want to smell good. You want to attract good vibes. It's very like vanilla-y and I'm obsessed with vanilla. So in this bottle, we have Vahi Ember Haze. It's a full bottle. Mm. Okay, this is kind of a different scent. It has amber, wood, vanilla. This gives expensive and rich. I could see myself wearing this to like a business meeting. It smells like a professional scent. I don't know how to describe it other than that. And then this cute yellow bottle is Boyfriend Morning Wood. It has notes of pink peppercorn, Mongolia flower accord, iris, tonka bean accord, soft musk. Mm, okay, this one you want to you wanna wear around a boyfriend. You want to go see a boy with this one. Not called boyfriend for no reason. It's like soft but kind of florally, but it like is very soft and warm. So if you guys have never heard of Scentbird before or you don't know what they are, they are basically a perfume subscription company that make it super easy to help you to keep smelling good and also like discover new perfumes, discover your signature scent. They are super, super affordable. I know perfumes could be super expensive. Like a bottle of perfume could literally be hundreds of dollars, but you can get your first month with Scentbird for only eight dollars which is insane such a good deal if you're indecisive like me you can change your fragrance up every single month or they can also help you find like your signature scent if you're that type of person that just likes to have that because scentbird's full-size bottle of perfumes that they use can range from like 300 to 700 dollars so before committing to buying like a whole bottle of an expensive high quality perfume you could try it out and see if you really like it and what i love about them the most is just how like i was saying earlier portable they are especially now since mini bags are trending these are perfect size fit right in your little mini bag but as you could see here so underneath the packaging like you could take it off is the label of the bottle so you can even switch these colors out with any of their bottles which is nice and then she literally just pops back on like that super easy lock it and unlock it so it won't like leak or spill in your bag if you guys want to check out scentbird you can use my code Michaela B to get yourself 55% off your first month with them, which is only $8. Amazing deal. Click the link in my description to shop them and smell good. We can all smell good together, especially if the summers are rolling around. Anyways, Semper does this life. We love the vibes. Hey guys, I just went to the gym, did my workout and went in the sauna. I'm just drinking, drinking a coconut water now to kind of replenish myself. I get these little ones from Costco and they're so cute. I just keep them in the fridge and whatever. I feel like a little bit of extra hydration because coconut water has a lot of like electrolytes and stuff. So when I was working out, I really tried staying off my phone as much as possible. So I was just listening to a podcast and usually in between sets, guys, I'm like scrolling. I'm, I don't know. I'm just doing something on my phone, but it felt so good to be present. Like I was just listening to the podcast. My phone was on the floor in my bag and I just was working out and it was... But yeah, it just felt so good. My head just feels so much more clear right now. Usually when I go in the sauna for half an hour, I am once again on my phone. When I was in the sauna, I actually brought my book because I'm reading the 5 a.m. club right now. And I brought my book in the sauna, left my phone outside, I just set a timer. And it was so nice reading. The time went by fast and I felt so good. And no wonder why I can never get through a book fast. It's because I never actually read it and I always choose to go on my phone instead but actually choosing to read instead and following through with it. Oh my gosh, like just doing this for like two days now, my mental state is already better and I feel so much more clear. Not gonna say I'm not gonna post on social media anymore because like that's literally my job. So I did throw up some Instagram stories this morning, but that was it. Like I didn't go scrolling. So I feel like that's a bit different for sure. I don't know guys, it's just like, when are we really living our lives nowadays? Because we are always surrounded by entertainment and we never just leave, you know, space for us to be bored. I feel like boredom is so important and we mistake boredom, we mistake peace for boredom, you know? And I've just been wanting to look inwards recently and do some like self-reflection, get to know myself better and become a better person. And I feel like that can't happen if I'm always constantly distracting myself with technology. And it's just crazy because time already passes by so fast. But if you add like technology into that into that phone, social media, 
it's gonna pass by like three times just as fast because you're constantly distracting yourself it feels good to just live and be in the present moment and i also feel like i have been wanting to learn more recently i kind of want to start a little bit of a book club with joel and i don't know whoever else wants to join but i feel like that'd be so fun to like make it a hobby make reading my new hobby instead of scrolling when i have a free second of the day you know and it's like getting to just like get together and discuss like a self-help book because those are my favorites and just like learn better ourselves i feel like that would be really really fun and i feel like i'm just like yearning for something outside of technology because my job is online my pastimes are online like everything is online and i'm just sick of it i'm so sick of it and I'm excited to be in this new kind of era of cutting things out that do not serve my higher self. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm still probably going to pop into my social media apps for, I'll give myself like 10 minutes just to see what's new and what's popping, but it's the mass scrolling that I don't like. I don't even know if I will go on TikTok. I'm just saying that for Instagram just to see what's up for the day, but no more than like 5-10 minutes am I going to allow myself to be on there. Not saying I'm cutting it out completely completely but like last night i didn't even watch tv usually every single night i put on an episode of a show to unwind for the night but last night i was just reading and it was very very peaceful and it was great and i feel like youtube videos for me is a bit different i don't know i always feel really good after watching youtube and youtube is not something that i sit on the couch for like eight hours and can just binge like that like once i watch a few youtube videos i feel very satiated and i feel good so i feel like youtube is different for me like i still want to watch the youtubers that i watch and keep up with them but it's just finding your boundaries with, with social media that's what i'm trying to do and not putting my face in my phone every spare second that i can of the day you know anyways that's my little update but i am um, just cooking up breakfast right now i have yams in the oven and i'm just gonna make some poached eggs in a bit have my little yam bowl and then i'm gonna shower get ready for the day i have work to do today i gotta edit etc so that's the plan for today nothing too crazy going on myself ready for the day how cute is this jersey i got it from aritzia and these are so in right now it's a bit out of my i guess comfort zone but i think it's really really cute i also recently a few weeks ago thought, got this gold watch and these are so in right now like little mini watches i happened to stumble upon this at save on foods that's just a local grocery store and i was walking in the aisles and i'm like what why do they have these why do they have these so i bought it and yeah this is the outfit of, of the day it's sunny today so it's super nice day i'm just wearing a skirt and i'm just wondering if like wearing a skirt is going to be awkward to record the podcast in because we're sitting down so i don't want like my cooch exposed do you know what i mean hopefully it's fine i'm gonna like practice my positioning on the couch to make sure that i'm gonna be comfortable wearing a skirt but guys i'm so 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 sad right now i've been a bit down because okay so binu my orange cat kitten actually we just have had her for two weeks and throughout the this might be tmi but i'm gonna explain so throughout the two weeks that we've got her she's been having diarrhea we were like you know what it could be normal because i don't know maybe she's adjusting nervous to the food so we stopped giving her wet food because we're like maybe she's reacting to that and we have the exact same food that she was eating before so it's definitely not because of the food switch because there was no food switch throughout the past few days there has been blood and mucus in it and she's been like screaming going to the bathroom it's just not been good if you guys don't remember when we got Tupi, the other girl she didn't react well to the vaccinations and both of them have these side effects from them because these this only started after they got vaccinated and so she thinks that potentially the doctor gave them too big of a dose or something went wrong there so i talked to her and she actually came over and she took a look at her because i texted her and i was like she's having side effects as well just to let you know and we called the vet and everything and anyway so she actually took binu back just for the time being because she's going to bring her back to her vet that she originally took them to for the vaccinations she's going to go figure things out with her and so it's just like so sad that she's not here with us this all happened like after the morning and so anyways i just can't wait to have her back home and i miss her so much like my heart has been hurting and i know she's gonna come back but it's just like i want her back like it's so hard to like not have her in the house right now yeah anyways so that is the sitch right now we have do we just have to be which grateful she's still here but she's looking for binu and it's so sad it's so sad she's currently just sleeping in my curtains upstairs because they love to sleep in my curtains in my room <sighs> 
and so sad guys and we're so happy and we realized that it was so important to get two of them because the amount that they play with each other they cuddle is just the best thing ever and only having one is like i feel so bad i'm just trying not to think about it too much because it makes me sad but yeah so hopefully she can come back home within the next two days that would be very ideal once they figure that out at the vet so we'll see she wants to make sure that all her kittens are healthy so talia is going to be here in like 45 minutes and we're going to record the podcast we're doing a q a for today's episode i'm really excited i got a bunch of guys' questions on my instagram and on the podcast instagram so go follow my instagram down below so you guys can like participate next time if you don't already and if you did send in a question thank you so much but yeah, don't forget to go follow the podcast um, YouTube channel and check us out on Spotify and Apple. I'm excited to record. It's always such a fun time. I got some laundry to do right now, so I'm going to do that before Talia comes over and then I'll update you guys later. So for me personally, motivation honestly comes and goes. It's not something that's like consistent ever mm -hmm. and it's totally normal because your life is ebb and flow and your motivation is always going to be ebb and flow. It's and really important to say too is that you're not always motivated. No. Because it can seem like... Yeah, it could seem like that. You are 24-7, so yeah. Mm -hmm. No, trust me, not at all 24-7. What really like pushes me through those times where I'm not motivated is discipline because, you know, when you make a promise to yourself, you want to keep it. Yeah. And I've made many promises to myself that I strive to keep and so that's what honestly keeps me going and that's what keeps me motivated is like setting goals and having those goals you know written down so you can like look back at, on them and remember why you're doing what you're doing okay I always have ground beef in the freezer because I always stock up on it for days like this when we just have no groceries and we have and we have no groceries. I'm not even kidding you. Hi girlies. So I just finished recording the podcast with Talia. We just finished. And the episode was really fun to film, answer your guys' questions. I was just doing a little bit of editing and finishing up my work for the night. But it is currently 8.12 already. What the heck? what the heck we were recording for two hours and i usually like <laughs> we have been recording for a long time recently and i usually cut that two hours down to one because i honestly don't think there's anybody that wants to hear us talk for two hours straight unless you do but if you do then that is i love you but <laughs> i always have to cut that footage down to one hour so Things are going to be cut out but we did answer a lot of questions regardless there was also a lot of like repeated questions on like motivation and stuff so i feel like i could cut some out i was supposed to upload, upload my vlog today but i honestly was editing the wrong vlog because this vlog is sponsored and so it's hard to explain but long story short i just edited the wrong vlog for this week so then it wasn't supposed to be that vlog going up until sunday so now i'm editing the vlog that's supposed to go up tomorrow which was supposed to go up today Anyways, my fault, so it's fine, but I will be getting it done by tomorrow. Yeah, I haven't posted in like a week, which I've been posting twice a week, so you guys have been getting a lot of content from me. You can have a little break, but just kidding. I actually miss you guys when I don't post for over a week. Like, it hurts my heart, but I got an update on Binu actually tonight, and she said she's doing better. The, you know, it's getting solid down there. So thankfully she's got some medication. So we'll hopefully be able to take her home within like probably in two days. So amazing, happy about that. I just miss her. But yeah, I have not scrolled on social media once today. Very proud of myself. Feels really, really good. Like I feel like I'm filling my time with other things. So for example, right now I'm editing. I don't think I would be editing at 8 p.m. But since I don't have social media to scroll through, I'm like doing other things that I wouldn't normally do, you know? So now I'm gonna go get ready for bed early. I'm gonna read my book and yeah, maybe, maybe I'll watch a YouTube video, but no scrolling, no scrolling. So anyways, tomorrow I'm potentially gonna hang out with my sister Madison, go thrifting or something um, when I, after I get my video done. So gotta grind that video in the morning. Yeah, let me see. I hope tomorrow's weather's good because maybe we can go on like a nice walk or something. Nope, it's literally raining tomorrow. So just kidding. But for our episode today, we got a bubble tea and I got mango and it was so good. It wasn't like too sweet because I got the sweetness 50%. It was so good. Really enjoyed that. I found one as I thought I was going to notice more of like a different not scrolling in terms of like me fiending for it. 
but I haven't been fiending for it honestly at all it's like you know when you like stop a, a drug like if you stop caffeine your head's gonna hurt that hasn't happened to me <laughs> not like I'm saying my head's gonna hurt but what I mean is like I haven't felt the need to like oh my god I need to scroll you know which is good I feel like it's an easy you know cut off period oh, oh my god I totally forgot you know how I put in laundry earlier she's still sitting so sopping wet so I have to put her in the dryer and hang all my stuff that can't go in the dryer so I should do that now and shut off my computer for the night go too bad one thing that's been on my bucket list has been to get an accountant i've had this thing on my to-do list for the past like two years but my mom actually found this canadian accountant that does specialize in influencers so i'm like sign me up girl because i want to like really learn how to manage my taxes and all of that and get sorted throughout the year know how much to spend on certain things and where to allocate my money more so of just like guidance on you know what to do so that i'm paying the least amount of money possible at the end of the year so yeah i have a meeting with her next week which i'm actually excited about i'm proud of myself for just doing it booking it because i always procrastinate big girl things like this i feel like sometimes it can be super daunting tasks like this especially when you're just thrown into adulthood you move out and you're like oh my gosh like i have so much to do so much financial responsibility so much i'm not gonna i'm, like, I'm not stressed about it it's just like there's so, so much you can always be doing so anyways long story short i'm getting my shit together i'm getting an accountant that is the tea for today i'm gonna go get ready for bed switch over my laundry and read <laughs> the Canucks game last night so I didn't get to bed till like an hour later than usual and I am tired this morning but that's okay because I'd rather have had you know watch the game than not the Canucks won last night 30 seconds left they scored it was a tie up until then so slay anyways I don't have any bone broth left because I haven't been grocery shopping for a week now or over a week actually so instead I'm just cutting up this um what are these called it's like a pear and an apple mixed together I forget the name I think it's called an Asian pear actually anyways I'm cutting up one of these I can't go to the gym without eating anything but I also can't go with eating too much so I used my alarm one extra time this morning because I just was not having it and Joel was like get up get up and i'm like no <laughs> it sometimes is so hard getting up when you don't get enough sleep like oh my gosh i need my sleep as you guys know i'm that type of girl who needs her sleep i'm a sleepy sleepy girl feels good that i actually like push myself to wake up though because fridays are the most motivating days of the week in a way they're also like the most the hardest days in a way because it's at the tail end of the week so you're gonna be a bit burnt out or tired more tired than the beginning of the week but it's also the easiest in a way because it's like you have all that motivation that like okay it's friday it's your last day well for most people or for a lot of people so it's really motivating and you're like you just have to get it done and then you're in pure bliss tomorrow we might go watch the canucks away game because when they do away games they like set up the arena so that you can watch it on like a big screen with the a crowd so we and the tickets are like pretty cheap for that so we might go see one tomorrow but it's all up in the air. At least yesterday when I went to bed, it was dark though because recently when I've been going to bed, it's been light out literally like this because the sun doesn't actually like fully set until past 9.30. Like it, it's only really, really dark at like 10. And so I've been going to bed every day and it's literally been light outside. And then when I wake up, it's light outside, which is crazy, which I like, but it's just funny because the other night ago I felt like I didn't even sleep and it was tripping me out because I woke up and I thought that I was still going to bed and I'm like well why is my alarm ringing right now it was like the weirdest thing ever yeah trippy since I'm not scrolling on my phone though it's nice to just be able to go in bed and like that's it like I'm just in bed no distractions can read if I want but otherwise I'm just going to bed and I feel good okay just go to the
got back from the gym and I made myself this yogurt bowl. I did Greek yogurt because it has so much protein with peanut butter, a little bit of maple syrup to sweeten it, some mini chocolate chips, and then granola. It's such a big bowl, but I'm hungry. I feel like I never have yogurt, and I don't know why. Yogurt always slays. It's so good, so I feel like I should integrate that more often. So yummy. So I'm going to enjoy this. I just made myself a coffee. It's so good. I'm just going to go do a few emails right now, and then I'm going to go out grocery shopping. So... I just want to get the emails done first and see kind of plan out my day quickly and then we'll go to the grocery store because i also kind of want to get that out of the way so cheers to friday this coffee is so good i mastered this smeg machine me and joel just got to the grocery store i love going grocery shopping with somebody i don't know why recently i've just been not wanting to go and so when he said he had time to come with me i was like thank god we never go grocery shopping on fridays because i usually stock up on a monday or tuesday and recently i have just been not going grocery shopping and so now it's friday and we've been making do for the week and we're gonna need food for like the weekend and the beginning of the week so i'm not gonna try to get too much because then i know that i'm not gonna go shopping at the beginning of the week so we're just gonna get enough to make do over the weekend and maybe like monday or something but anyways we definitely need a restock and i just need to be more consistent with grocery shopping because i've just not been wanting to go i like getting it done at the beginning of the day it just feels good I'm gonna go home put them away and then i can like really take a shower and like sit down and work for the day i need to still see what we need we honestly just need everything so we'll probably just go through the aisles also how do you guys like these glasses i don't know how i feel about them i know like the orange frames are coming back in but i don't know i got them off amazon let me know if you like them they're cute but i'm not sure about them we're trying them out today okay let's go grocery shopping ended up going to Costco our regular grocery store Meridian Meats and yeah we ended up going to three places just because we needed stuff from all different spots so I'll give you guys a quick haul these are my favorite protein bars the RX bars the ingredients are really good 12 grams of protein and these are just a good snack to grab on the go when you don't have a lot of time got some Truvia this is like stevia leaf sweetener Joel likes using this for Greek yogurt and stuff to make it sweeter without any sugar got some bananas three tubs of Greek yogurt from Costco this is the best it's organic and for I think it's like a three quarters of a cup it's 17 grams of protein so really good then I just got some sparkling water I got two chicken bro bone broth some lemon juice you guys already know cottage cheese Annie's gluten-free pasta just for a little treat if I want just to keep in the pantry then I just got some beans and corn for chipotle bowls i'm planning on making potentially this weekend or next week chocolate protein powder from costco nutritional yeast three mangoes these are my favorite two flavors of kombucha i got this hippie granola and i tried it last week and i really really liked it i got this huge pack of flamingo razors from costco because it was on sale for i think it was like 26 dollars and there's 13 razor heads that come with it this is an insane deal so slay Flamingo, sweet potatoes, avocado, zevias, salad, popcorn, chips, salami, ground beef. Got some chicken wings and then some chicken thighs. So that is the whole grocery haul. Super big. I'm just going to put everything away right now. I just got ready for the day. I was editing all morning. I actually finished my video. I scheduled it to go up later today, so I'm happy that's done. I just blow dried my hair this morning. Um, I blow dried it straight because I washed it and I just didn't have the patience to like actually style it. So she's just blow dried straight. But I just have a super basic outfit on. I'm wearing sweatpants. They're from Revolve. I accessorize the jewelry a little bit and sunglasses. But I'm going to head out going thrifting with Madison. Hopefully I can come home with a fatty haul because I want to reinvent my wardrobe for summer this year. Every single time summer rolls around, I just have the most basic wardrobe. And this year I actually want to like try and like be cute in the summer. That's the plan for today. I might get some bubble tea. And then yeah, tonight also the Canucks are playing hockey. So I'm going to watch the game with Joel and just have a chill evening. I'm going to head out now and take you guys thrifting. Hey guys, so it is a bit later now. Madison and I went thrifting. I actually got a couple things, not anything too extravagant, so I'll give you guys a haul right now, but me and Joel were just watching the Canucks game. Still on, it's just in between period, and they're pretty long breaks like 15 minutes so i just shut off the tv and i'm gonna watch it on my phone while i'm kind of get re getting ready for bed and cleaning the kitchen and stuff first little top that i got is very y2k 
I guess this would be kind of wide too guys. Here's the vision. Black mini skirt going out with knee high boots. This is just one of those different tops that I feel like you can't just find anywhere. And look at the little, like the way that it sits at the ends. It's like pointed like this. So cute. Or even like with a pair of jeans going out, this would be such a cute little like fun top to wear. I got that. And then I got this top. How freaking cute is this? This would be also for going out. Same vision, like black mini skirt, knee high boots. This would be adorable. I don't know. I feel like it's really in right now to wear like a fun top with a black mini skirt and knee high boots or kitten heels or something. I feel like that's going to be really in in the summer, especially with kitten heels actually. So I'm just preparing myself for that. This is hard to like see the vision or see it on, but basically it's just like that. And oh my goodness, it fits so well. And the color is just kind of like a darker green gray situation. It has like literal pads in it, so you don't even need to wear a bra. And it just like sits really nice. And oh my gosh, again, with the black mini skirt, this would be adorable. And then last thing I got thrifting is this crew neck. I just randomly saw it on like the side and I'm like, oh, this is cute. Yeah, I'm just always looking for new crew necks and stuff. So I picked this up. I think I'm gonna put like my lint thing on it because it's like very linty. But other than that, it's in really good condition and it fits really well. Like it's is really nice at the bottom so she's a sleigh and yeah that's all but i'm gonna wash everything because everything smells like value village then they'll be ready to wear so i'm just gonna get ready for bed i haven't been vlogging much this week just because i don't know my head's been everywhere and i've been busy editing with other things so this week's vlog is kind of all over the place but it's okay this week has gone by so fast like i can't believe it's already friday i feel like it's always friday and so i'm just trying to be present in every single moment but Anyways, I'm gonna go to bed or sorry I'm gonna get ready for bed clean the kitchen and then read in bed or I'm gonna be watching the rest of the game So depending if that has to go to overtime or not, we'll see I actually when I got home since I haven't been scrolling on social media I have made a lot of good progress in my book and I love it so far but I've just been reading all the time and I actually did take like a 20 minute nap two hours ago So I'm not very tired right now, but that's okay. My head has been feeling so clear honestly not scrolling i feel really really good guys like i really do and i just feel like i'm living more present i feel like it's gonna be more challenging on the weekend because that's when you know i rot on the couch like i seriously rot every single weekend let myself do whatever I scroll for hours i watch tv i just i rot i really do but now that the weather's nicer it's like more encouraging to actually like go out and do stuff on the weekend so that's good and it'll be a lot easier to like you know actually not be rotting on the couch because on a weekend when it's raining and cold you just feel like rotting so it makes it a bit easier when it's like beautiful outside so i hope the weekend's gonna be nice but apparently it's gonna rain so everything within balance maybe i'll make an exception on the weekend because what is there to do when it's pouring rain but anyways okay let's go to get ready for bed Hey guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to head to Scentbird and use my code Michaela B for 55% off. Everything will be in the description. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.